Aussie Gamers, Lucas Aurelius here from Aussie Gamers Express and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of another Rocket product and it's the new keyboard that's coming out in July 2016 called the Rocket Suora. Now there's one thing about the Rocket uh, products is they like to give them names that are quite difficult to pronounce and this one is no different but also with that difficult pronunciation of the name comes with some pretty good quality which is uh, what my experience has been in the past with uh, reviewing a couple of their different mice and things like that so uh, without further ado let's do a bit of an unboxing of the Suora and I might do a little bit more research on how to pronounce that properly let's have a look at the box uh, in typical rocket for uh, format the box is quite nice and we've got a little bit of explanation of what the uh, the keyboard's going to be like it's compact performance focused frameless design so it's going to be nice and small on the desktop which is nice uh, N key rollover for advanced anti ghosting now I don't know if I've had a problem with ghosting before because I don't know what ghosting is but that's something that I'm probably going to learn very soon when I uh, do a review of this this new keyboard so we've got six individually programmable macro keys which is handy when you're playing your games like your MMOs and stuff and there is also a robust metal housing which is solid and durable. A metal housing for a keyboard, that's pretty cool for uh, those rage moments. So it doesn't fly into different pieces. But if we come across over here, let's have a look. We've got a game mode button, a breathing mode. I think the breathing mode might have to do with backlighting. Uh, 11 brightness levels, 1000 hertz, and... W A S and D anti ghosting capability. Really, really keen to find out what that is because um, it sounds like I probably have had the issue, just don't know what it is. Uh, so it's a unit, United States keyboard layout, which is uh, pretty much just the universal standard, I guess. So also down the bottom here, it tells us uh, it's pretty hard to see, I guess there. But we've got uh, Rocket Swarm, which is basically the the program that runs on your computer that will run all the programming for the different macros and the lights and all that sort of stuff so that's that's really cool with you if you just buy rocket gear which uh, I'm starting to amass a good collection of uh, you don't have to install more uh, software for it will automatically update plug it into your computer the swarm program will recognize the product and just update it so MMO approved MOVA approved and first person shooter approved I didn't realize there was like the Heart Foundation tick of approval for video games and keyboards, but uh, it's probably um, a good thing to have them nonetheless. Let's switch it around. Have a look at the back here. So there's uh, a whole bunch of uh, stuff there. They're all in different languages. Let's have a quick look at the English one here. Uh, where's the English one? That one's not English. None of those are in English. Okay, it's probably just uh, this stuff here, which uh, we've pretty much gone over in different languages, so we won't worry about that. So let's uh, let's break it open. Now I am quite well known for struggling when it comes to unboxings. Let's see how this one goes for me. A little bit of a struggle. Oh, raw power unchained. Okay, bring it out. Oh, a bit tangled with the cord. I'm a bit awkward when it comes to unboxings, aren't I? Oh, I've done a few of them. Whoa. Okay, first thing, quick installation guide, as they're always in there, because it's an important document. So let's have a look at it. Alright, let's see. Whoa, camera moved. Let's see how important this document is. Alright, show them the keys. Show me instructions. It's not really that important. Alright, let's have a look at the keyboard. Get it out of the plastic. Oh wow! 
Well, that's that's very different to what I'm used to. There is when it said frameless, I thought it would just be sort of a, sh a shallow bezel, but there's actually no frame. That's going to be really easy to clean. You know, dead skin flakes, pieces of cheeseburger and toast and drinks and all that sort of stuff going on it. That's going to be really, really easy to clean out. So that's a really interesting design. Now, one of the things that I really want to take check this out for it's a gaming keyboard how good is it for other things on a PC because I don't know too many people that are well, not necessarily casual gamers or hardcore gamers but people that are generally going to use their their gaming rig to do other things like check emails um, write emails write statuses on Facebook and you know look at porn and all that sort of jazz is it going to be comfortable and ergon ergonomic to, to write a review in? Because I do a lot of that stuff. And if it ticks that box, it's going to be a winner for me. Let's put these legs down. There we go. Alright. Well, it looks good. It feels good. It feels like a pretty damn good um, keyboard. But what we'll do, if you want to stick around for uh, the rest of this video after uh, I have uh, played around with this and used it, run it through its paces and checked it out, I'll do a review on it. Thanks everyone for watching the unboxing of the Rocket Suora gaming keyboard. Okay, so now we're up to the review portion of this video where I'm going to talk about my use of the Rocket Suora keyboard over the past week or so. Now first things first, it is an absolutely beautiful keyboard with that blue backlight and the borderless design. It looks fantastic. It looks great sitting on my computer desk with the glow of the uh, that blue LED lights reflecting off my shiny black speakers and things like that. It looks absolutely amazing. So it definitely looks the part. If something looks good, it makes you feel good too, I think. So I really love it for that reason. Now the actual usability of it, I've been writing a couple of reviews in the past week and I've been typing a fair bit and it's fine. I've, I haven't had any issues with the key placements or the key heights or anything like that. It's, it was just uh, normal, I went straight into my usual tough touch typing and didn't have any issues there. So it's, uh, it's a good just general use keyboard as well. Uh, playing video games as well is quite good, there's, uh, there's no dramas there, it felt good. I'm no a hardcore gamer or anything like that so I'm not really going to be picking up on the, the nitty gritty of it but um, it's uh, de definitely a great keyboard for a general use uh, but it does have quite a few features that will appeal to hardcore gamers and I'm going to go through those uh, now. Now the first thing as I mentioned earlier in the video I want to talk about the anti-ghosting so the advanced anti-ghosting that uh, the Suwara has. Now I didn't know what that was so I did a little bit of research to find out what ghosting is and I'll try and explain it uh, in layman's terms. So basically if you are rapidly pressing a key whether it be like a fire on a ship or a gun or something like that if it's not keyed to a, to a mouse press if you are rapidly pressing the same button over and over again sometimes if uh, without this technology some of those uh, key presses can go um, unnoticed by the keyboard and that means you will miss out on certain presses which can mean you know, the difference between win or lose in a game so the anti-ghosting uh, technology with the I think it's one millisecond response will ensure that every keystroke no matter how fast you can physically press that key will be registered and will be uh, relayed into your game so that is a really important thing for hardcore gamers probably not something if you're using it for uh, general use that will come in handy but uh, definitely for, um, for real twitch based gaming so the, ga the ghosting uh, name is essentially some of your key keystrokes will get lost and are therefore ghosted and go off into some weird abyss so uh, that's, that's a really good um, uh, feature if you are looking for a, a pretty good gaming keyboard. So that's, uh, that's what that one's all about. 
Okay, so the, the frameless keyboard, so the frameless design, what I was mentioned before. Number one, I want to mention the base of the keyboard is made out of metal, so it's very durable, which is good for me sometimes because I do like to rage and, you know, if you do like to hit the keyboard, it's not going to break or crack. You may bend it, I guess, if you hit it hard enough, but it's metal construction, which feels nice and solid, which is uh, really appreciated. Uh, another thing with the fr the frameless design is the fact that it literally is just a flat piece of metal. So if you do happen to drop any food or if there's crumbs or just general skin flakes or dust, it's going to be very easy to clean because it's not going to get trapped in there. You literally just need to pick the keyboard up and shake it and it's all going to fall out or if there's anything stuck in there, give it a bit of a blast with some compressed air and it's all going to come out. There's no cracks and crevices for it to all get uh, stuck into so that's a really appreciated design feature there of, um, of this keyboard. Okay next uh, feature that I'm going to talk about I've already mentioned the blue backlighting now that's really handy as well if you are working in low light or don't have the lights on you can still see where all the keys are and uh, it's, it's nice and clear. It's got 11 stages of brightness so on full brightness for me I thought it was a little bit distracting when I was uh, looking at the screen so I dimmed it down a little bit I didn't want to turn it off because it does look beautiful and it is good to have that uh, little bit of backlight there so you can see the keys if you need to look uh, so that's that's really neat uh, another thing as well you can set it to either breathe which is like where it will slowly dim to off and then come all the way to bright again I've turned that off because I thought that was a little bit distracting but once again that's very good for displays it does look nice maybe it's something you might want to set when you're away from your computer just to have it breathing which is quite nice right the next feature I'm going to talk about is the six programmable macro keys now macros if you don't know what they are they're basically shortcuts so for example uh, I do a lot of uh, photo and video editing control Z to undo or control alt x to crop and things like that you can actually program them all into one key press so instead of having to press all three keys you can just press the one and there's six of those that you can program this is very good for, for games as well if you're playing an MMO there might be a combination of keys you need to press for a spell or for a heal or what have you you can program any six of these to do that so it's literally just one press of the button give you a little bit of a gaming edge uh, in the uh, the competitive scene, so they're really appreciated as well. Next, uh, the Rocket Suora boasts a, uh, a set of durable keys, which have been tested to let me have a look, 50 million keystrokes. Now, I don't know average how many keystrokes you would put on uh, per hour or what have you, but 50 million keystrokes sounds like she's going to last a very long time. So, a good durable keyboard is definitely going to be something you want because you do tend to press a lot and those W, A, S and D keys when you are playing video games online or just video games in general I guess using a keyboard and mouse those W, A, S and D keys are going to get uh, quite a workout so uh, rest assured this is going to uh, set, stand the test of time with durability for those keys so there's another feature that's boasted and that's a thousand hertz polling rate and that goes hand in hand with the anti-ghosting Basically, it's going to allow for rapid response keystrokes. So if you're spamming the hell out of a button, you, you're going to get all of those keystrokes transferred into your game, which is very important. Another feature it has is something that most people will want for general use, and that's your media and hot keys. So you've got shortcuts which are with a function key, which is going to take you to your browser or take you to your email or, one second, I'll have a quick look, or take you to your calculator, things like that. So you've got those as well that are hard uh, programmed into the keyboard, which is good for uh, nice shortcuts uh, rather than having to click around your desktop. Now the last feature I'm going to talk about now is the game mode button. Now up in the top right hand corner it's an extra button on the keyboard which basically when you press that it'll uh, enable a specific profile that you've set up. So you can set up different profiles uh, using the Swarm program which I'm going to show quickly after this. Um, so that way if you're your uh, macro keys are set up for video editing and photo editing like I would use. You can have that all set as normal and then you can hit the game mode button for when you launch into a, a game to change to your gaming profile which will then have all your macros set up for that game etc etc. So that's quite a neat little quick flick feature for your macros which is really good. So 
There's some really neat features of the Rocket Sorora keyboard, gaming keyboard. It's very durable. You're going to get all the key presses. You can press the hell out of the keys as many times as you like. It's very, very durable. And uh, it's a, a beautiful, good looking keyboard. So I, I've got nothing really to complain about. Actually, I will give you one thing. One thing that is a little bit on the not so good side. The key presses are quite loud. I've got it on the on the, um, the desk next to me. I'll press a couple of keys. You'll hear it. It's probably going to be amplified because the, the microphone is sitting on the desk, but it is a loud feature. It's the key presses are loud. But that's not so much of a bad thing. Having key, like feedback for the presses is not, not so bad, but this is, is very pronounced. There is a quirky little feature with those key presses that is built into the Swarm program, which I'll give you a look at just in a moment when I switch over to the Rocket Swarm program. We'll be there in a second. Okay, so we're over now into the Swarm program, which is basically the hub homeworld for all of your Rocket uh, accessories. So if you look at the top of the screen here, I've got my Kova. So you can switch across and change your mouse. And if you plug in the new Swora, it'll automatically uh, install the, uh, the update for that. And you'll have this available at your fingertips. So first thing I'm going to show you here is uh, the quirky thing that this uh, keyboard has, which is a little bit strange, but it's just a, a key thing. So it's like a key typing sound thing. So sound feedback is, I've got it set to no sound. That's my preference. But you can have a click sound, which will do this. Or you can have a typewriter sound, which will do this. Or a beam sound, which sounds a little bit like this. Or a sci-fi sound, which is a little bit similar to that one, but sounds a little bit like this. Now, for me personally, I will take no sound, thank you. I don't need any feedback like that. The keyboard itself gives enough feedback, I think. Now, typical settings over here, you can have the repeat delay, so how long it takes for that to repeat, and the rate, and the cursor blink rate, but I like leaving that as standard. So, we can move across here into the key assignment. Now, this is where it comes into play, where you can change all of the, uh, the key uh, layouts you can and you also can use the um, the macro keys which are these ones over here so what you can do is if you don't want uh, Z to be Z you can change it to be a different thing in uh, game mode when you enable game mode which is this button up in the top right corner it'll do whatever you change it to be in here now with the macro keys, I've got it set up to be uh, something for my editing. It'll automatically crop instead of pressing uh, Control, Shift and X. I literally just need to press that key there and you can set that up quite easily. I've done it in a couple of, couple of seconds. Actually, I might show you. Let's um, we'll get rid of that. Now what you're going to do is you grab this one over here, new macro. And it'll give you this window here, and I'll put uh, crop is the name of it. Um, and we just got to hit start recording, and I'll press Control Shift X uh, because it's got a high rate. It'll probably add a couple of extra ones. But you just got to click and delete that one, and that one. There we go. So it's just Control Shift X there. You can even make it record how long it took me to press those buttons but I don't want the delays, I want them all at the same time. And that's it, and I press OK. So there we go, that's now a crop. So if I press the uh, game mode button, it's going to give me this feature on this button. Yeah, you're supposed to use it for games, but uh, you can use it for whatever you want. And you can set up your profiles down the bottom here. So if you want to have a set of, uh, say, Paint Shop or Paint.net uh, things over here, in profile one and then in profile two you can have it all for uh, different games and there's preset selections here and there's a lot of popular games there like Counter-Strike, Crisis, Football Manager, Lord of the Rings, Minecraft, Skype, 
all those sort of things you can bring in automatically for you. So that's quite neat. Uh, that's it for that screen. Now we'll move across into the key illumination. Okay, in the key illumination section here, I've got the keys set to full brightness. And as you can see in the, uh, the live video feed there, of, uh, I've got the keys there. Hello. Um, now you can reduce the brightness if you wish, which will dim the keyboard down like that. Or you can uh, turn it off completely. If you don't like the, uh, the lighting, if you just want to have it like a normal keyboard, you can do that. Or you can have it breathing, which um, will have, the, have it fading in and out. And you'll see it as it uh, refreshes. There we go, it's just faded out. We'll fade back in. And then we'll fade back out, like that. Okay, I like it fully lit, and I like it about at that level. A little bit brighter than that there we go that's about like where I like it and it has that nice glow on, on, in the background there so you can muck around with the lighting there which I think is quite good look in summary I think the rocket Suwara is a very capable keyboard and will benefit a lot of hardcore gamers but it's also very usable if you want to use applications like uh, paint shop or word processing word excel things like that and you can map any of the keyboards uh, keys that you want which is um, it, which is very handy because that's what I do I play video games but I do also do a lot of video editing and audio editing so all those extra keys are going to be real helpful so all in all I give it a very very high rating and for the price uh, I'm not too sure exactly what the RRP is going to be in Australia I think it's probably going to be in the vicinity of about $150. That's only a guess. Don't hold me to it. I do believe it's going to be $99 US. So $99.95. So uh, this uh, keyboard will be available from July 2016. If you uh, like the, uh, the keyboard, go and grab one. If you like this video, then check out the other videos that we've got. I've got a couple of other reviews of products uh, on the Aussie Games Express uh, YouTube channel and uh, feel free to click like and subscribe and chuck any comments you may have down below. Thank you very much for watching. I am Lucas for Aussie Gamers Express. See you later.